Hey, how's it going? It's Wilgram13. This is a video response to EDT1138 um, and the Sega Stoners question, which was uh, the top three villains. I, uh, I thought, man, I, I think this will be pretty easy for me. So uh, I'm going to start out here. Number three, Shredder. I picked Shredder from the Turtles, um, which, you know, I... I don't have the boxes for, like, Turtles in Time and stuff like that, so I'm just showing the big boxes of, like, a, a Turtles game. But, uh, but uh, here's a... This is a, a Turtle game, and on the back is a picture of Shredder. What a dick. This guy... I don't even know what his special power is besides, like, martial arts and just being a general thorn in the side. Uh, you know, the <laughs> a thorn the size of a Cadillac. This guy has caused four turtles and a rat to... Uh, Rue the day sometimes. So, t my uh, number three is Shredder. Number two and number one were kind of hard to pick, but uh, I'll explain it to you whenever you see. Um, number two is Dr. Wily. I mean, come on, this guy is a another thorn in the side of anybody who's ever played a Mega Man game. Um, he's, uh, he's just ruthless. And my number one top villain is Darth Vader. Um, I don't see how anybody can beat him. I mean, I was kind of tied a little bit with Dr. Wily and Darth Vader, but then I started thinking, you know what? Darth Vader is just, uh, he's got too much going for him, especially in games like Rebel Strike. And, uh, I mean, there's so many games built around this villain. I mean, straight from the Atari days on up to the current. Um, even in the current games, like, uh, The Force Unleashed, I mean, he's still wreaking havoc. So, uh, my number one villain is Darth Vader. So, uh, thanks, and uh, uh, I think this is a great idea with what you're doing for small channels like mine, of course. <laughs> but uh, thanks for the uh, open forum and opportunity. Appreciate it. Have a good one.